Welcome to this brief podcast on Irving Goffman, who was among the most important social theorists of the late 20th century. I'm Dr. Walters with this very brief overview vodcast. Many of the ideas from this vodcast actually come from the work of uh, Randall Collins and George Ritzer. The most important works by Irving Goffman are Presentation of Self in Everyday Life, Asylums, Stigma, Strategic Interaction, Frame Analysis, and Gender Advertisements. The latter is available to you in the weekly folder on the Sociological Theory course site. The key idea driving Goffman is called a dramaturgical analysis. Within this framework, or using this concept, the self is viewed as the product of interaction between an actor or actress and the audience. Thus, the self in everyday life is a dramatic representation that arises within a specific production scene later referred to by Goffman as a frame. Dramaturgy actually carries these ideas that emerge from the work of George Herbert Mead, the I and the Me, one step further. For Goffman, identities are conferred and confirmed through interaction with others, and thus self-presentation actually involves a conscious effort to present a coherent and, I shall say, favorable self in a manner not unlike the techniques that actors and actresses use to create characters. This process is referred to as impression management, such that individuals reveal and conceal information so as to create and maintain projected and conferred identities. And here, information is both revealed and concealed, again, to create the most favorable possible self-presentation in any frame or interaction moment. In line with the symbolic interactionist perspective for Goffman, and especially the early Goffman, the meaning of an action was always in the response, that is, the meaning was always conferred by the reaction or the response to the actor or actress. For Goffman, in his work on impression management, there is always a front stage or our performance area. A personal front, like our appearance, our manners, various strategies deployed to preserve and project an idealized self, and a a number of face-saving processes that allow us to make it easy for other individuals to project and confer and preserve this rather idealized self. So when they slip, we typically step out or go out of our way to help them restore the identity that they seek to project and maintain. It could be a, a social goof or an embarrassment for all. There's a backstage area which is uh, suppressed. Now, this is the production area or the area where we rehearse this, uh, in quotes, idealized self and all the props for it. Think of this like a job interview where in the job interview you typically put you prepare for it You plan what you're going to wear. You plan how you're going to comb your hair. You plan what you're going to say. You also plan what material you you will put forward and what things you are not going to volunteer on the front page. Stigma, another really important work from Goffman, uh, deals with the idea of spoiled identities. And here it focuses on interactions between, in quotes, normal people and people who are stigmatized, that is, they're discredited or they're discreditable. And once again, there's a a large amount of face work or face-saving work that allows us to maintain interaction during a discreditation process or with a discredited 
person. Think of yourself on the subway with a homeless person and the kinds of things that you do to allow the person to maintain whatever dignity they have left. An interesting thing about Goffman, especially the late Goffman, is that he, while he began very strongly in the symbolic interactionist perspective, he began moving away from this perspective very late in his career, noting that the W.I. Thomas definition of the situation where how we define situations have real consequences contributes not as much as we once thought to our understanding of social interaction. People do not ordinarily create the definitions, and in fact, these often arrived in what we call structural packages, that is, in packages that are defined by the individual's position in a fairly substantial social hierarchical structure. So while the frames are principles of organizations, they are really assumptions for schematic interpretations, and there's not as much structural movement. And by structure, we mean position in a hierarchy. There's not as much structural movement as we once believed to be true. And so the schemata becomes schemata for interpretation within some fairly strict limitations uh, of the idea of theater as a metaphor. The, the, the idea behind this, or the, the idea behind these limitations, is that many of the interactions in which we take part, these are defined by more ritualistic behavior than by the real exchange of new information or changes in the structural positions of any, anyone or anybody who is a party to the interaction. So typically the rituals reaffirm a social hierarchy that framed the basis of the social interaction uh, to begin 